Hey and welcome to the Lean Girl YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are trying to get lean and you want healthy, delicious, low calorie, high protein recipes, then I am your girl. And you do not wanna miss out on any of these epic recipes, so be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and if you are back, um, and you have already been on my channel and you haven't subscribed, you better hit that button too. Today I am making a delicious recipe. You girls know that I am all about transforming the high calorie delicious food that we get from all different takeouts and making it low calorie and high protein so that you can enjoy it any damn day of the week guilt free. So our favorite little guilty pleasure just has to be a yummy deep fried spring roll. I mean, who doesn't love a good spring roll? Because I certainly do. But now we know if we're having a deep fried one, they aren't gonna be good when it comes to calories. When you're frying anything in oil, it pretty much doubles the calories. Just 110 um, calories are in one tablespoon of olive oil, which is pretty much the equivalent of a slice of bread. So when you're drizzling that olive oil in or when you're deep frying something and it's soaking up all that oil we are just adding so many calories and we're not actually adding any volume we know that volume is what keeps us full and satisfied so today i am remaking the traditional chinese delicious spring roll and i'm going to make a lean version which is under 350 calories for the entire dish yes please and um, they are super easy to make i'm actually doing them tonight in the air fryer and um, if you don't have an air fryer do not panic you can still do these in the oven and um, they do come out a little bit crispier in the air fryer if you don't have one please invest in one it honestly will be your best friend like ever i use it every single day for everything like vegetables meat chicken anything you use your air fryer. So um, it's a pretty simple one and it's gonna be really quick. I've already prepped a few ingredients which I'll talk you through um, so that I just didn't waste too much time just making simple things which I know you guys probably know how to make. So I'll talk you through it and then we will get rolling our delicious spinels. So first of all, what I have prepared is some uh, tuna, some turkey mince. So it is from Woolworths, um, it is really delicious. It is just a great alternative. Um, it is just a great alternative to beef mince because it is a lot leaner. Woolies is also doing chicken mince these days, which is really nice. I find that in Asian dishes, I do like to use either chicken or turkey just because it's got that lighter flavor, which I think is used in a lot of Chinese dishes. But of course, you can really go wild on what you want to add into your own spring rolls. Um, and yeah, the sky is kind of the limit. So if you like beef, you go ahead and use beef. Um, so I've just cooked this up with some onions in a pan, non-stick pan. I always just use the olive oil spray and cook. So I'm not adding any unnecessary oils. Spice it up with a ton of garlic. Um, I've got the onion already chopped up in there and then a whole lot of spices, some Cajun spice, salt, pepper. Um, very important to spice your food if you want it to taste good. Okay, then I have got some cabbage this is basically just coleslaw um which comes already chopped up um in here all i have is this lemon and coriander spice which is from Woolworths and um, if you follow any of my videos you know that i'm kind of obsessed with it and i put it on everything and um, the it does have like a really nice asian kind of flavor so um, I've used this when just sauteing my cabbage so that it is nice and soft and tender. Also salt and pepper on there. You can use soy sauce, you can use sweet chili sauce, you can use your, any kind of sauce that you want, but the flavor we really want to be in the cabbage. So when we put it into our spring roll, we have that nice juicy flavor. We don't want it to be dry inside. So those are the two things that I prepared and it is really gonna be that simple. That is what we're gonna be putting into our spring rolls. So instead of using a traditional like pastry to wrap our spring rolls in. We are going to be using these rice paper rolls, which you guys may know are used in like summer rolls. Um, Woolworths has these, so does Food Lovers Market, and um, Pick and Pay, Checkers, a lot of them have these rice papers. Now you wanna get the ones that are generally quite big. Um, you get smaller ones, but of course you can't put as much filling in. Um, and because it, this is gonna be a lunch main meal, maybe a dinner, you want to be able to put enough filling in so that it actually keeps you full. 
So, um, I'm gonna be doing some of these for myself and Helen tonight. Um, so I'm gonna be doing around eight of them, but I will just, let me actually just start with four um, and then you can see how it goes. So what you wanna do is I've got a bowl here of warm water and you basically just want to dip your little rice paper in here and you will see very quickly that the rice paper will begin to get soft. So you just wanna get in all the edges and you'll see it'll become more bendy, more moldable, so that we are able to wrap up our lovely little Okie dokes. So there you have it. And you can lay one down on a board. And then we are going to start with our filling. So I'm just gonna grab a bit of my coleslaw and you wanna put this in the middle. Um, I kind of put it actually to a little bit to one side and you'll see why when I wrap them up. Okay, so a bit of our coleslaw and then a bit of our turkey mince. Now I actually, the last time I made these on Instagram, I included some coriander. People have this love hate of coriander, like some people are obsessed with it. I love it. And some people cannot stand it. Let me know in the comments, coriander, yes or no. Um, we'll see which team wins. Um, and then before I close this baby up, here I've got some just normal sesame seeds, which always add a little Asian flair. Um, and so I'm just gonna do the tiniest sprinkle. Um, sesame seeds are quite high in calories, but we're just adding the smallest sprinkle. Um, so it's not gonna add too many curls. Um, and then this is how we are going to roll up our roll. So you wanna take the sides, and you wanna roll them in first, wrap them in like a little gift. <laughs> um, and then you are gonna take this side and you wanna kind of tuck as you go. And then, just make sure that this is all behaving. And then you want to give it a good roll and it will kind of lengthen out and form the most perfect spring roll. Yeah. Show you what it looks like. It looks really beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside, do the others, and then I'm gonna show you how we are going to prep these before we pop them into the air fryer. spring rolls are beautifully wrapped and ready um, and now before I pop them into the air fryer here is a little trick that is going to get them really delicious and golden I have basically got here just an egg which I have beaten up just with a little fork and there we have it a beaten egg now we are going to egg wash these so if you were a domestic goddess you would have a nice brush that you could use but I don't I'm waiting for my fiance to buy me one. It's been locked down. It's not essential. <laughs> not an essential item. So basically what you want to do is, you just want to rub a little bit of the egg wash on top of your little spring rolls and cover them quite generously because whatever you touch, what is that from the Lion King? Wherever, wherever you see Simba is your land. Wherever the light touches. Wherever the egg touches will be golden and crispy. Okay, so cover them nicely, mainly on top. Um, 
And then we are gonna finish them off with a little sprinkling of sesame seeds, which will now stick quite nicely because of our egg mixture. And now we are going to pop these babies into my trusty air fryer, which we're not gonna look inside because it desperately needs to work. Um, so, so we don't want them to stick. Olive oil, spray and cook, good spray, pop them in, and we are going to give them around 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how, whoo, how crispy we want them. So I'm going to pop these in, and then um, we're gonna wait for the magic to happen, and then I will be back to show you guys what the final product is going to look like, and you are never going to need Chinese spring rolls. It's to our twins. Um, you're never going to need Chinese spring rolls again. Big claim, I know, I know. Just wait. Okay, they're ready, locked and loaded. 12 minutes, I will be back. Okay, so our wonderful little spring rolls are out of the air fryer and they are looking wonderful and crisp. Um, and I'm so excited to show them. A couple of them stuck together. <laughs> They're now like kind of like twins. Um, but oh my word, they are looking so, so, so good. This is so hot. Um, let me just scoop these two last ones out. And as you can see, they are so delicious and crispy on top um, and really looking incredibly spring roll-esque. Always have to eat my food while I make it. It's like a lean girl rule, basically. If I don't eat it, you must know that there's something wrong. Okay, so what do we need for little spring rolls? We need them to be dunked into something. So here are my two favorite sweet chili sauces that you can get locally. So the first one I am 100% obsessed with, like I think I have a problem. Um, this is the Lifestyle Foods Sweet Chili Sauce. It is under like I don't know, it's like two calories or something crazy. When I first saw this, it looked really watery and I was like, this will definitely not be good. Someone recommended it to me and then I was like, okay, I'll try it. Now I'm hooked, I put this on everything. So, um, and then another one that you can get, which I also found, I've checked a lot of the calories on different ones. This is um, the pick and pay sweet chili sauce. The calories are also reasonably good. So for a tablespoon, I think it's around 20 calories, which is not too bad. Um, but tonight I'm definitely gonna be using my lifestyle foods sweet chili, and I'm going to be pouring a bit of that just into a little dipping bowl. Um, and there we have it. Should we cut one of these open so that I can show you just how this is very hot. So it is pretty tough to cut. Um, but I do want to show you how wonderful and delicious that looks. I'm so excited for these guys. Um, and there you have it. Your Lean Girl low calorie spring rolls that are high in protein, under 350 calories. I'll put up all the calories and macro breakdown on the screen so you know exactly what you're in for. Um, and if you haven't done it yet, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you do not miss any of my delicious low calorie, high protein recipes. Also, if you like this recipe, I have the most epic recipe hub called the Lean Girl Kitchen Coach, which has all of my low calorie recipes with the exact calorie macro breakdown, ingredients, instructions, that is going to be your ultimate meal planning tool to get lean. I will drop the link in the description so that you can check it out. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification buzzer, and I will see you in another video for another Lean Girl recipe. Enjoy! My arms! <laughs> Your arms dying. Oh my god, holding the spoon.